All right, today I'm super excited to share my home lab setup featuring a Synology NAS and a couple of Raspberry Pis. We'll also explore all the cool services I've integrated. Plus I'll also explain what a home lab is and why you should definitely consider setting one up, especially if you're on a DIY smart home journey. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today as part of my smart home journey series, we are diving into the world of home lab. I'll take you behind the scenes of all the tinkering, experimenting and learning that powers this smart home. Now a home lab isn't just for tech enthusiasts. It's where all the real magic happens, bringing together fun, curiosity and serious hands-on learning. So if you're into building, troubleshooting or just exploring the possibilities of a DIY smart home, stick around because this video is for you. So. What exactly is a home lab? Simply put it as a personal environment where you can experiment with various softwares and hardware without the constraints of a production setup. It allows you to learn, develop skills and test new technologies. So whether you are a tech enthusiast, a developer or someone looking to automate your home, a home lab is an invaluable resource. It also enables you to try out different configurations, troubleshoot issues, and get hands-on experience all in a safe space. Now, you might be wondering, why should I set up a home lab? Well, first, it basically gives you the freedom to experiment with the latest tech trends without risking your primary systems, as well as allows you to take ownership for your setup locally. Plus, it also assists you to centralize and control various aspects of your digital life from media streaming to security and smart device management. And if you're like me who is building a DIY smart home, a home lab allows you to integrate and test various smart devices and platforms like Home Assistant, HomeBridge, Scripted and many more, ensuring everything works together seamlessly to your choice of the smart home platform. Plus, it's a fantastic way to enhance your skills in networking, automation, security, programming, and system administration, all while having fun and keeping everything cost efficient. I mean, take me for an example. When I started this YouTube channel, I neither had the knowledge to code, nor the experience in setting up a DIY smart home. And fast forward today, I have learned to safely experiment, troubleshoot issues, and learn from real world setup. Alrighty, let's dive into my hardware setup. At the heart of my home lab is a Synology NAS, which was purchased way back in 2018 and acts as a central storage and management hub. It's perfect for hosting various services, storing all my media files as backups of my computers. It's been a workhorse. I did upgrade to DSM-7, but downgraded it back to DSM-6. Works like a charm, and I can still use my Zigbee dongles to it. Plus, I also have a plan to upgrade the RAM to 16 GB. And let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video to downgrade from DSM-7 to DSM-6. Now, I also have a couple of Raspberry Pis that serve multiple roles, including a Pi 4 that runs Home Assistant and a Pi 3 that runs Zigbee to MQTT that integrates all the Zigbee devices via HomeBridge into Apple HomeKit. And I also have a Raspberry Pi 5 where I test devices, integrations, as well as services before moving either to the NAS or the Pi production environment. Basically, the Pi 5 is purely for testing purposes. Additionally, a couple of SD cards to support all that testing. Now let's go over the key services I'm running. To access all of the services on my local network, I needed a simple way to see them all in one place and know if they are online or offline. It's like having all of my bookmarks displayed as a rich, organized web page. Now, this makes it super easy to check on everything at a glance. So I'm currently using Homer as my central control panel, and it's amazing. It puts all my apps and services right at my fingertips, letting me control everything from one convenient spot. It also integrates seamlessly into my setup, giving me quick access and valuable info. Plus, it's easy to manage from my phone or tablet thanks to its sleek 
user friendly interface now there are others as well which you can test i did use heimdall where i've included in in these diy smart home videos plus i also did test homer and there's one more and i like to test which is home page now that's the beauty of home labs you're always testing trying out new things and seeing what works best for you there's always some level of tinkering and along the way you pick up new tech skills and even learn some basic coding next up is home assistant now this is the powerhouse of this smart home it connects all of my devices allows me to automate routines control devices remotely via apple home kit and monitor energy usage as i mentioned earlier it's currently running on a pi 4 with the ssd storage because depending on the services you have installed it does read and write a lot of data next up is homebridge now for those of us in the apple ecosystem homebridge definitely bridges the non homekit devices to apple homes app enabling a seamless integration of my smart devices now this is currently running as a docker container on my synology nas now for cameras i finally decided and settled for scripted which is currently running as a docker container on my synology nas now i use it to integrate my unify cameras because it just makes them compatible with apple homekit allowing me to view all my camera feeds directly in the apple home app next up is zigbee to mqtt now this service allows me to connect my zigbee devices to my network without needing a proprietary hub and runs on a dedicated raspberry pi 3 it's flexible and opens up a world of possibilities from my smart home i also run few other docker services on my synology nas I use Portainer for managing all my containers, Watchtower to keep them updated automatically, Radar for organizing my movie collection, and Plex to stream my media on the big screen. I'm also testing out Grocy to create a smart home grocery system that uses NFC tags to track inventory and generate shopping lists automatically. Now, each of these services complements the others creating a cohesive smart home ecosystem and this was all possible based on my smart home blueprint that i put together now this blueprint was the guide on how i distributed my hardware software and resources so if you haven't seen this video please do so and if you think i should be testing other software or services please do let me know in the comment section as well now, here are a few tips if you're thinking of setting up your own home lab. Start small. You don't need all the devices at once. Start with one or two services and expand as you get comfortable. You can use my videos on setting up a DIY smart home hub, which is a good beginner. Document your setup. Keep track of configurations and changes. This will save you time in troubleshooting. I currently use Notion as the second brain to my smart home and i also have a video planned as well three use community resources there are a ton of forums and communities online where you can get help and inspiration four stay updated regularly check for updates on your software and hardware to ensure everything runs smoothly securely and uninterrupted so setting up a home lab has not only enhanced my smart home experience but has also deepened my understanding of technology. I encourage everyone to explore this exciting world, whether you're just starting or looking to upgrade your current setup. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on my smart home journey and other exciting DIY smart home projects. Until the next time, my friends, have a nice day. Cheers and happy automation.